A critical piece of evidence in the Gilgo Beach murder case has been found hundreds of miles away in rural Chester, South Carolina. According to local and federal officials, police seized the alleged serial killer's early model Chevy Avalanche at a property belonging to a family member. A witness told investigators he saw one of the victims get into the same kind of truck the last time she was seen alive. He also matched the unique physical description of the individual. A very large man, not muscular, but a very just physically large man, um, black hair, glasses, white, uh, and uh, somewhat unique looking, uh, described as an ogre. 59-year-old Rex Hurman has pleaded not guilty to killing three young women, whose remains were found over a decade ago. Their bodies dumped along a remote stretch of Gilgo Beach on Long Island's south shore. Hurman's house in Massapequa Park, less than a 30-minute drive from the crime scene, is now the focus of the investigation. The house is cluttered, and we're going to go inch by inch through that house. We're going to get everything. According to the Suffolk County District Attorney, the architect and father of two had permits for 92 handguns. Inside, the police commissioner says they found hundreds of weapons. It's over 200 guns. Uh, he had an arsenal in, his, uh, in a vault that he had downstairs. Anytime somebody has that type of uh, arsenal, we, we, we have some concerns. Police have also searched two storage units in the town of Amityville, right across the bay from Gilgo Beach. DNA samples and cell phone pings near Hurman's home and his Manhattan office helped investigators crack the case. A total of 11 remains were originally discovered on Gilgo Beach, and police say they have substantial evidence connecting Hurman to the disappearance of at least one other victim, which means more charges could be coming in an investigation that's far from over. So interesting because it sounds like they are continuing to actively work this case. Yes. Any insight from the DA about why this was the moment to bring those charges? Mm -hmm. They had been watching him for a while. Yeah, it's interesting. He said to me that they they actually acted early, and they acted early because they were concerned about safety and exposure of their investigation. You may remember in that bail application, they had said that he was monitoring progress in the case repeatedly, hundreds of times. Right. They were they were scared he might slip through their fingers. Oh, wow. Stephanie, thank you very much. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.